Welcome back to What Artie Noobs with General Disturbance, and this is a Sturm Panzer 1, the Bison, the Tier 3 German SPG, and we're on the south spawn of Mainz, and it's being commanded by Back Team. Now, alongside him is an SU 26, and battle is underway. It's a standard battle. Now, you may not realise it, but <laughs> it's actually quite a lethal arty, the uh, Storm Panzer 1, because it's got a 15 centimetre cannon, a 15 centimetre howitzer, I should say, which is uh, a First World War design. Oh, gets a lovely chunk out of that Panzer 1C there. And that Panzer 1C doesn't like it, and he's been killed! And that Panzer 1C was killed by the Panzer 1C on back team's side. Doing a lot of damage, and we get an ammo right! And that enemy goes up in a big firework display. Okay, he's firing at that BT-7, but he moves out the way, and then he moves back into the way! And he gets wiped out with the splash from the 15 centimeter gun. As I say, it's very deadly actually, that 15 centimeter. They only carry 12 round stones, he's already fired two of them. He's got one kill so far. BT-7. That's a Soviet tier 3. It's on target, but it's moving at the moment. He needs it to be stationary because uh, he's got a fair distance to travel, but he can't hit that LTP. That BT-7 is moving quite rapidly. It's fired. Unfortunately, the BT-7's moved away and the shell lands hopelessly a little further off. But that BT-7 hasn't got much in the way of hit points. A splash will probably kill him. And he does get wiped out. He's taken out by an SU-26. The SU-26 and a short way away from back team. Okay, M2 medium. He's almost dialed in. It's sitting by that rock. That should make it an easy kill. Ah, he splashes it for 122 and three critical hits. But he can take out this LTP if he can load in time. Oh, he's going after the LT Viz 38. It's a checkers of vacuum tank. Nope, he's transferred back to the M2, but he's he got a rescue bloom there. So he's fired, but it may not be accurate. Yes, it wasn't accurate. That was a bit of a waste there. Whenever you move the uh, aim like that, you, you do have to wait for it to dial in properly. Especially on tier 3 RC, because of course they're not that great, uh, not that accurate to start with. Now we know the M2 is still down there, but we just can't see it. There he is, he's been spotted again. But he's now aiming for that M3 Stuart on the other side, on the entrance to the donut. Okay, he's dialed in, not fully, but it's close enough. And he gets an 86 hit point hit, one critical hit. And he's got six rounds to go. M3 Stuart. And Panzer 1C with two hit points next to it. Can he do a bombardier? I think he probably can. If he takes out both of them, that would be a bombardier. I think he's going to get one of them for sure because the splash would be enough to kill the Panzer 1C. He fires in and he takes out the M3 Stuart. The Panzer 1C was taken out before his shell arrived. Okay, T70. And there's uh, only five enemy remaining. T70 is one of them. Soviet light tank. It's almost fully dialed in, rounds out. And he kills it! It was lucky because it actually did move after he fired. A T-56 tank destroyer. American tank destroyer. And it's on the reverse side of the hill. But if he can reload in time, he can put a round into it. He's just disappeared from sight. He's dialed in. Rounds out. Ah, uh, no, it moved. So he's got three rounds left. Only three. The SU-26 is moving up near the river. Um, oh, actually, no, he's moving behind that uh, that rock for a bit of security, I think. But he has extended his range by doing so. And back team's doing the same. He's relocating, getting closer. Okay, tank destroyer's been spotted. And it's that T-56 GMC again. It's going to have to dial in the aim. Now you see he's doing it properly this time. He's dialing it in fully. And he gets a kill shot. 
160 hit points, but that's good. That means there's only two RT left. Okay, he's got two rounds, two RT. He could get a top gun. Can he get a top gun? Okay, there they are. And there's a bison on the enemy team. Zeroing in on that one first, and it actually has very low health. Oh, but it's taken out before the shell arrives now. Can he get the last enemy? Which is a Lorraine 39 LAM. Which is actually a conversion. Um, because it was a, uh, a French armoured personnel carrier, which had a gun mounted on top of it. The 10.5 centimetre gun. But most of the conversions were actually done by the Germans. Germans utilised any equipment they could capture because they were de so desperately short of equipment themselves. He fires a round in and he gets a kill shot and that wins the battle. 28 hit points and he takes out the Lorraine. It does help to dial in the aim fully when you're using the Bison. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's an ace tanker, unsurprisingly, for back team. He did very well in the Sturm Panzer 1, uh, the Bison. Uh, he got a Bruiser medal as well for getting at least five critical hits. He got 16. He also picked up a Fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got five. And because he used all his ammunition, he got and, and getting a kill. The last enemy with his last shell means he picks up a Faden's medal as well on top, which is very, very welcome. Um, he he uh, did 857 hit points of damage. He got five kills and he came second when it came to uh, base XP of 633. He fired all 12 rounds, got four direct hits, four penetration, five splash damage, damage of 857 all from more than 300 meters. He hit eight of the enemy, killed five of them. He also did stun assistance damage of 89 hit points and got one stun. He received 12,908 credits, uh, but after ammunition resupply, he took away 9,548 credits. He received base XP of 633 and there was no multiplier, so that's all he took away, I'm afraid. So good, good work by back team. Uh, I'd like to see the Slim Panzer 1 play properly. It, you really do need to dial in your aim, though, fully on your targets. Let the reticule settle. Let it dial in fully. You are virtually guaranteed of a kill because it's such a good 15 centimeter howitzer. In fact, it's a First World War design, but it's it's so, so good that you will take out your targets because it's got such a big punch. Uh, if you enjoyed this replay, please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in the next video.